Fab Incoterm explained, benefits, drawbacks, and alternatives. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing Incoterm Fab, or free on board. This is a trade term used in international trade to determine when the ownership of goods is transferred from the seller to the buyer. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of how Incoterm FOB works, its advantages and disadvantages, and when to use it. How Incoterm FOB works Incoterm FOB requires the seller to deliver the goods to a specified location, such as a port or airport, and load them onto the chosen mode of transport. Once the goods are loaded, ownership is transferred from the seller to the buyer. The buyer is then responsible for paying transportation costs, customs duties, and taxes. Keep in mind that Incoterm FOB does not include insurance coverage, so the buyer and seller must arrange this separately if desired. The difference between FOB and SIF? You might have heard of another Incoterm called SIF or cost, insurance, and freight. The key difference between FOB and SIF is that, under SIF, the seller takes charge of the maritime insurance. This can be an advantage for first-time buyers, as it minimizes their responsibilities. However, the total cost of the transaction may be higher until the goods are received. Precautions to take One of the main pitfalls of FOB is the cargo stevedoring fee. It's essential to clearly define who is responsible for paying this fee when signing the sales contract. Sellers and Buyers Obligations In FOB transactions, the seller's responsibility ends when the goods are loaded onto the designated vessel. They're responsible for packing the goods, paying transport costs to the port, loading the goods onto the vessel, and completing customs export formalities. On the other hand, the buyer is responsible for organizing and paying for the main transport from the port of shipment to the port of discharge, unloading the goods, taking care of customs formalities, and organizing the transport of the goods to their final destination. Advantages and Disadvantages of Incoterm FOB Incoterm FOB offers advantages to both the seller and buyer. For the seller, it transfers the risk of loss or damage to the buyer once the goods are loaded. For the buyer, it allows control over the transportation of the goods and the opportunity to negotiate the best price for transportation. However, there are some disadvantages as well. For the seller, it can be expensive to deliver the goods and load them onto the transport. For the buyer, there's the added expense of arranging and paying for transportation from the delivery point to the final destination. When to use Incoterm FOB Incoterm FOB is commonly used when the seller and buyer are located in different countries and when the buyer wants to negotiate the best price for transportation with a particular carrier. It is typically used for goods shipped by sea or air, but can also be applied to land or multimodal transport. Examples of Incoterm FOB Let's look at some real-world examples of Incoterm FOB. 1. A Chinese manufacturer sells furniture to a buyer in the U.S., delivering it to the port of Shanghai and loading it onto a container ship. 1. The buyer is responsible for paying transportation costs, customs duties, and taxes. 2. A Colombian exporter sells coffee to a buyer in Germany, delivering the coffee to the port of Buenaventura and loading it onto a cargo vessel. 2. The German buyer is responsible for paying transportation costs, customs duties, and taxes from the port of shipment to their final destination. Conclusion To wrap up, Incoterm FOB is a useful trade term for international transactions, as it clearly defines the responsibilities of the seller and the buyer. FOB offers advantages for both parties, but it also comes with its challenges. It is essential to carefully consider if FOB is the right Incoterm for your specific transaction, and to clarify all terms and conditions in the sales contract to avoid misunderstandings or disputes. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of Incoterm FOB and when to use it in your international trade transactions. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below.